everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new hello so today i wanted to do a makeup like try on review of the tower 28 products that i got from the sephora vib sale i'm so excited to use these because i'm obsessed with tower 28 now so if you've been watching my channel at all you will know the first product that i started using from tower 28 is the sos spray and there's what it looks like. <laughs> I just bought the massive refill jumbo size one from Sephora during the sale. They actually are sold out of it on Sephora's website now. So the only sizes they have left are like this size and then like a mini one. Um, I think Tower 28 still has it on their website. I'm not 100% sure. But I just refilled this bottle with the jumbo size one. Um, I love this product. It's amazing. The thing that I really like about Tower 28 is that it's made for sensitive skin like their whole tagline thing is like it's okay to be sensitive and then it's also been accepted and approved by the national eczema association and if you've been watching my channel at all you'll know i have eczema it's on my face it's on my hands it's not fun especially as a makeup artist like having it on my face and on my hands are like the worst places that it could be because on my face if you know when i'm doing makeup on somebody my face is right in someone else's face and pre-covid when I wasn't wearing a face mask, um, you know, if if my eczema was flaring up, like you could see it on my face and it's not cute. And then on my hands, like it'll flare up on my hands from constantly washing and sanitizing my hands, like especially now, like, I mean, they're not in the greatest condition. So um, yeah, I love this stuff. My skin it, like really craves this. Um, I like the smell of it. It smells like pool water, like chlorinated water. <laughs> Um, and all that's in this is um, water and sodium chloride, which is salt, and then hypochlorous acid, which is uh, something that our body naturally produces to try to heal itself. Um, so it's only three ingredients, which is really awesome. So um, I love this stuff. I always use it after I cleanse my face at night and then after I get out of the shower in the morning before I, you know, do my skincare. So I highly recommend this. If you've been wanting to try out Tower 28, I would start with this because this stuff is awesome. So I've already done my brows, which Tower 28 doesn't have a brow product. I've already done my foundation, which Tower 28 does have a new foundation. It is a tinted sunscreen and it's like SPF 30 and there's a bunch of different shades and it looks so amazing and I'd love to try it, but my skin hates SPF for some reason. Like every kind of sunscreen that I've tried, I either break out, I get a rash, or my skin like stings, burns, swells, so I'm like, I'll stay away from the SPF foundation. Um, but if they ever came out with one that doesn't have SPF in it, I would totally be on that. I want to try it so bad because it looks so nice. So instead I put the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation on and concealer and then Kosas Powder. And then now let's go ahead and talk about all of the rest of the stuff. Because I picked up a few of the Beach Please Tinted Balms and then one of their Bronzino Bronzers. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and use these. So first, because I love to do bronzer first, I will go ahead and show you that. So I got the uh, Tower 28 Bronzino Illuminating Bronzer in the shade West Coast. The Bronzino comes in five different shades. West Coast seems to be like the second lightest. Um, and these are $20 each. So this is what it looks like. I've already used it a little bit, so it's kind of messy on the inside. Um, first of all, I love the packaging. It's so cute. And then um, the inside, it's such a beautiful color. Um, let me tell you a little bit about it though. On the box here, it says it's fragrance free, no pore clogging ingredients, non-toxic, allergy tested, dermatologist tested, vegan, cruelty free, and safe for sensitive skin. It says buff along temples, under cheekbones for added warmth and dimension. It has the ingredients on here. It says they use ethically sourced mica from the United States. And it says it's full of sunshine, which is so cute. On the website, it says it is inspired by that moment when the sun sets over the ocean. Bronzino is a blendable, buildable, illuminating cream bronzer for the effortless summer glow from within. And the shade West Coast that I have here, it is a medium warm bronze. And it says Bronzino is your one-way ticket to that fresh from vacay glow. You can expect a glowy bronzy sheen without shimmer or sparkle. Although I will say there is like... I mean, I guess there's not like chunks of shimmer or anything, so uh, that's why it says without it. Um, it says it's a silicone-free formula that's made with mineral pigment and skin-loving ingredients. 
like moisturizing mango butter and calming green tea extract to help soothe and condition the skin. So cool, let's go ahead and put it on. Um, I always like to use a stippling brush, kind of like the MAC, um, what is this one? I've had it for so long, MAC 187. And um, this, I just kind of dip into the product and get it on the brush. So that's just kind of like the one bad thing is that it gets really messy along the clear plastic, but although, I mean, you can just clean it off, so it's not a big deal. So this, I'm gonna just go ahead and buff onto my skin. So you can see how much it warms up my face versus this side. And the reason I picked out this West Coast one is it seemed a bit more of the red toned, which as you can see, I mean, I'm kind of like a red person. So I figured this one would match me best because the other lightest shade, it's more of like a golden tone and I don't really turn golden when I get tan. I kind of turn more like red, orange brown and um so I figured that this would be best so the thing about this too that's really nice is it gives your skin a really nice glow and yeah it looks just like so pretty and natural and it's soft, like it's really lightweight. I mean, you don't feel anything on your face. So that is the Bronzino. I'm gonna have to pick out the little hairs because this brush is so old and it just like, it's starting to shed everywhere. So I'll be picking out the little hairs from this. But that's what Bronzino looks like on. I think it looks so cute. And I love looking sun-kissed, especially right now because it's literally so cold. Like this morning I had a like down jacket on because I was so cold and I just could not get warm. I wanted to, you know, do some bronzy makeup because it reminds me of the summer and I miss it. <laughs> Okay, so now let me go ahead and show you guys all of the Beach Please um, Luminous Tinted Balm. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on the website as well. So the Beach Please Tinted Balm comes in six different shades. These are also $20. And I picked all of these up during the Sephora sale, so luckily I got them at a discount. I picked up three of them. And these colors I thought were all just so beautiful. And I thought that they would work really well as like cream shadow, cream blush, cream lip even because they are multi-use products. So in the Beach Please, these are the three shades that I got. So this one is Rush Hour. This one up top here is After Hours. And then this one right here is Magic Hour. So I'll put them all next to each other so you can see them all. Um, after Hours, Magic Hour, Rush Hour. What the, the box here says, it's same thing as the Bronzino, fragrance-free, no pore clogging ingredients, non-toxic, allergy tested, dermatologist tested, vegan, cruelty-free, safe for sensitive skin. Tap and blend onto the cheeks, has the ingredients. Um, that's all it says on here. On the website, it says what it is. It's a multi-purpose tinted balm that blends seamlessly for natural luminous finish. No cakiness, no harsh lines, just beautiful sun-kissed skin. Lucky you. Like I said, it comes in six shades and it says they're inspired by the colors of the Santa Monica sunset, which I think is so cute. Which by the way, Tower 28, the reason it's named that is because of Tower 28, the lifeguard tower in Santa Monica, right between Santa Monica and Venice Beach. I thought that was so cool because I'm born and raised in California and I think it's so cool to find like a brand that's like all about California and I love that. So it's so cute. <laughs> um, anyway, so the shades are Magic Hour, which is a sun-kissed rosy nude, which is this one and then we have golden hour which is a sun-kissed orange i don't have that one happy hour which is a sun-kissed coral pink that one was so cute too um then there's rush hour which is a sun-kissed peach which is this one and then power hour which is a sun-kissed terracotta that one was also really beautiful and then after hours which is a sun-kissed berry i love this it's gonna be so pretty as a lip color by the way it says what can i expect that golden magic happy rush power after hour glow all day long hello summer it says to just tap blend and layer for bolder color 
silicone free formula with skin loving plant based ingredients like green tea extract and aloe vera extract that gives a skincare boost with every application. So yeah, let's go ahead and use these. Um, I think what I'm going to do, we'll go ahead and use this magic hour shade as an eye color. Um, this is what it looks like. It's super pretty, but I thought it would be cute on the eyes. Also, if you hear anybody talking in the background, it's because I have um, the movie Daddy's Home 2 on in the background. Um, it's such a fun Christmas movie. <laughs> have you guys watched that one? It's one of my favorites. It's just so silly. Um, the first Daddy's Home is funny as well, but Daddy's Home 2 is just so much better. I love that one. Um, so that is what Magic Hour looks like on the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye as well. And this is actually like a really cool texture because it kind of dries, it's a cream, but it kind of like dries down to a powder. Like it doesn't feel too sticky. It doesn't feel like too creamy as like it's setting down. Like it just kind of sets down to like a powdery finish. I'll go ahead and add some more onto this side to even it out. I think that color looks so cute and it's so beachy and summery and I love that. So then next, I wanted to do the shade Rush Hour as a cheek color. So what I like to do is, with any cream color, I like to rub it on my finger and then rub it between these fingers and then press it in. It's a cute color too. I'm a big fan of like corally, tangerine shades as blush. I don't know. I just think they look so fun. That's why I wanted these two colors, Rush Hour and Magic Hour, because I thought that they were just like really cute. And then whatever is extra, I think I'll just kind of like rub it into the outer corners of my eyes. So that is what Rush Hour looks like and it's so beautiful and so creamy and it just gives you like a really nice finish on your skin. I didn't get the Tower 28 highlighter which I mean I really don't need one because um, my skin's looking very glowy already but since I didn't get one um, because the one that they have it is like a translucent clear balm. I didn't really want that or need that at the moment because um, I have so many highlighters and I picked up the Westman Atelier set. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that little highlighter from the Westman Atelier set which I'll do another video on later but I just wanted to use it because it's so cute. Look at that color, it's so pretty. So um, I'm just going to put this on my fingers. Look at how beautiful that is, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so then same thing. I like to rub it on my fingers and then tap it in. It's pretty. So there's that. I just wanted to apply that because I want a little extra glow. So... Now that all that's done, um, let's go ahead and apply. We have a couple different options for lip products. So if you saw my last video of what I bought at the Sephora sale, I got this sparkly clean set that came with this new product from Tower 28, which still isn't on their website. It's not on Sephora's website other than in this. It came with the full size one, but it's the Juice Balm Tinted Lip Balm. And I showed it last time, so I don't think I'll use it this time just because it was in my last video, so I'll link it up above. 
but I'll apply it to my hands and it's like the most beautiful tinted balm. It's like that My Lips But Better shade. It's so gorgeous and it feels so creamy and it just feels super hydrating and really nice. Um, so there's that. Oh, hello, kitty. Hi. You just rubbed on my leg. <laughs> Um, but then I also picked up one of the Tower 28 Milky Jelly um, Shine On Glosses, Lip Balms. What it seems like is Tower 28 has two different types of these glosses. There's the Shine On Jelly Gloss and then there's the Shine On Milky Jelly Gloss. So this one is a Milky Jelly Gloss and this is the shade Coconut. I thought this one was so cute. These are $14 each, but look at this color. It's so pretty. So the Milky Jelly comes in four different shades. And it says it's an al the alternative milk of lip gloss. It's everything you love about a juicy gloss with none of the hangups. Made with plant-based ingredients that are actually good for you, like apricot oil, raspberry seed oil. The same healthy and nourishing ingredients. You the same healthy and nourishing oils used in our original cult favorite Shine On Lip Jelly, which is in six different shades. So there's coconut, cashew, oat, almond, and coconut is a semi-sheer milky mauve pink. It says, don't stress. It says there were zero nuts used in the making of this oatsome lip jelly. Um, instead of awesome, oatsome. 100% <laughs> vegan, cruelty-free, made in the good old US of A for the healthiest, shiniest, most wearable gloss ever. Just swipe on and smile. Apply over bare lips or over your favorite lip color. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this coconut one. This is like super, super cute. I can't wait to put this on. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, that color is so cute. Oh, I love it. It's like a My Lips But Better shade. It's like very similar to what my lips naturally look like but with like a hint of color added it's not quite as dark as this one which is the shade mix so let me put a little on my hand it's so soft so um yeah as you can see it's kind of like in the similar shade of like a nudie pink color it's a bit more pink than mix is but it's still in like that similar tone. I think it's really beautiful. And the other thing that I was noticing on their Instagram page, these milky colors are sort of more like that My Lips But Better shade. Because even with the other shades like Cashew, Oat, and Almond, it seems like um, even people with like deeper skin tones in mind, the shades blend in with their lips really well. So it's sort of like that very natural look. Whereas I think the other Shine On lip jelly come in more of a variety of colors. Like there's red, there's purple, there's like I think like more of an orangey tint one. Like they're brighter shades versus these milky ones I think are more like their nude neutrals. So um, yeah, I really like this color. But I also wanted to apply the after hour shade so I think I'm just gonna apply it on top because I like the way that this feels and I think this color will just add to it so this is the shade after hours in the beach please balm Oh, I like the way that that looks too. I think that adds like a really nice color to it. That's pretty. Okay, so um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and put mascara on and then we will wrap everything up. So hang on one second. Okay, so mascara is on and that is the completed look for all of the products that I've tried out today. Um, I will say if you are going to use the Beach Please Balms on the eyes, they do crease up a bit. So it's easy enough to just blend out with your finger though. So no worries on that. But I think it's such a cute look. It's perfect for spring and summer and winter and fall when you're feeling like you need some spring and summer in your life, you know? So um, yeah, I really, really like this. I'm so glad that I finally got to try out more things from the Tower 28 brand. Uh, like I said, I picked all of this up during the Sephora VIB event. And I think Sephora is actually having another sale now for like 20% off, which is even better than the VIB event. 
event event <laughs> event <laughs> so if you were gonna pick up anything from tower 28 i'd recommend doing it now during this 20 percent off sale because that's such a good deal i really am enjoying these tower 28 products i think they're just so fun and so easy to use um you just use your fingers basically with them unless you want to use brushes or your beauty blender or whatever but um yeah i really like them i'm so glad that i finally picked up some of the um, beach please balms because um my mentor melissa um epic makeup on instagram she uh has a bunch of these in her makeup kit and we got to use them on the film that we worked on over the summer and I really liked, you know, messing around with these. Um, the colors are just so beautiful and they work on a wide variety of skin tones, which is really nice. But the main thing that I like about this brand is just that it's made for sensitive skin. It's made for skin with eczema, which most brands really don't take that into any consideration at all. Um, eczema is not fun. And especially having it on your face and having super sensitive skin, it's not fun. And sometimes when you use cosmetic products, skincare, any of that stuff, sometimes it really stings and burns and it hurts so much. So having a brand that really took that into consideration, because I believe the creator also has eczema, it's nice to feel like acknowledged by a brand, you know? So um, yeah, I'm really excited that I finally got to try all this stuff. I will say I still am kind of sad that I can't use the foundation, which is like the tinted sunscreen. Um, I really hope that they'll come out with a non-sunscreen version. And I also am really hoping that they'll come out with like a whole SOS skincare line because I would love to use that. Like if they came out with like an SOS serum or an SOS moisturizer, I would love to have that. So I'm hoping for that to come out at some point. Um, I'd also really like to see a mascara from the brand. I think that would be cool because, you know, a lot of people have really sensitive eyes. I know I do. I have to be really careful with mascara because a lot of times it'll make my eyes just like tear up and so itchy and so watery and sometimes they'll sting. So I'd like to see a mascara from them. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, that's it. That is my little review of the Tower 28 products that I picked up, which is basically like a brand review minus the foundation because otherwise I pretty much have, you know, at least one of everything that they have except like the highlighter and the other lip gloss, but I feel like it's similar to the milky ones. Um, so yeah. That's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried out anything from Tower 28 and what your favorite products are. I'd love to know because this is such a fun brand and it's newer and it's exciting to see where this brand is going to go. So yeah. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you hang out with me over here on this channel. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and a wonderful week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!